I remember with great fondness one lunchtime when my biology teacher at the comprehensive school I went to in Southampton handed me the natural history of Selborne. It was a tatty old paperback, which I think he'd had since his youth. Um, I was unaware of, of Gilbert White at this time. I was 12 years old. And I took the book home and I was immediately enchanted. I started to keep a diary myself in 1971 of all of the natural history that I encountered first pages the lengths of different grass snakes that I caught and I still have that diary it's very much a personal treasure but I loved reading White's description and his descriptions were so vivid that I was able to rebuild this landscape so far away in time and at that time I was a push bike lad and I very rapidly afterwards got on my bike and I cycled all the way to Selborne. It wasn't too far from my house in Southampton. I was a bit puffed out when I got there and I remember stopping for a, a Mars bar in Corehampton. Anyway, I went to visit the house and, and saw the garden and then I remember going to the graveyard and seeing his very simple memorial stone there. In fact, I have a photograph uh, taken of that stone and there was a large yew tree alongside it at that time. And I've been back to Gilbert White's house on a number of occasions ever since. It's a, it's a wonderful environment and you can walk the, 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 you know, through the, the house and, and get a real sense of the man and, and his place.